Hey creators, welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to make a grid style video wall or imitate a Zoom video conference look, just like the example on the screen. To recreate this effect, we'll be using a complex formula to calculate the size of each video on the screen based on the aspect ratio, resolution, video format. I'm just kidding, it's gonna be easy. Let's get started. Launch VZC on your computer and create a new project. We're going to continue with full HD and 16 to 9 aspect ratio. And that's important because you will need to remember a couple of numbers for this project. Our tutorial will be based on this aspect ratio and will work with Full HD 1080p or Ultra HD 4K. As you've probably guessed, this means your footage will need to be of the same aspect ratio. Now drag all your video files to the resources window or straight to the scene. Then place them on different layers on the timeline, one after another. Even if some of your videos have a different resolution originally, they'll automatically stretch to the same size as you place them on the scene. If you see that some footage still has black lines on the sides, Use the auto crop feature from the quick access toolbar. And by the way, your video files can be of different duration, it doesn't matter. We can quickly trim all of them at the same time. Place the playhead at the end of the shortest one to select all the files on the timeline and use either the razor button or the control key hotkey combination. Then just delete the unwanted part. All right, now we have a stack of four or nine videos of the same size and duration. Awesome! Now it's time to decide into how many parts we want to split the screen. Knowing that the scene width, in our case, is 1920 pixels, if we want to split the screen into four parts, that'll be 50% of the scene width for each video, or 960 pixels. If we want to have nine videos on the scene at the same time, each section will be equal to approximately 33.3% of the original scene width, which is 640 pixels. So let's get started with the size adjustment. Select all the videos in the stack, head to the properties window and find coordinates. For the video width, type 960 if you are planning to have four videos on the scene and 640 if you are splitting the screen into nine segments. Make a right mouse click on the video stack right on the scene and select Set Size, Set Height in accordance with the image aspect ratio. Next, just use drag and drop to place the videos on the scene. Are we ready yet? Mm, perhaps an outline would make it look even better. Click on any of the videos, open the Video Effects menu and select Transparency. Then go to the Properties window and use the following settings. Mode, Solid, Position, All, Rect, Body Size, 3 Pixels, Color, White. Much better, isn't it? And that's all for today, guys. The video wall is ready. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this one. Until next time.